The Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, NSCDC, confirmed earlier in the week that seven of its personnel, alongside five other persons, were ambushed and killed at Kuriga Mining State, uh, mining site rather, Beningwangiri, a uh, local government area of Kadunda State. NSCDC Director of Public Relations, Olushola Odomoshu, added that the five others were from a sister security agency and local vigilance group. He said that one, one of NC's, NSCDC personnel escaped uh, the attack with injuries and is currently undergoing treatment. Odomoshu said that the attack, which occurred on Monday, was unfortunate and a big loss to the core and the family of the deceased, according to reports. The attackers scattered away with rifles of the slain operatives, while the remains of the officers and men had been uh, de deposited at Baru Deco Teaching Hospital in Kaduna. As you have Nii Salio in the studio, while Editor Security Digest Chidi Omeje joins me now via Zoom. Good evening, Mr. Omeje. Good evening and compliment of the season. All right. So it is now one bandit attack to uh, too many leading to the loss of security personnel. What do you think or what do you make of the country's fight in winning the war against terror? Okay. Um, now, the, 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 the killing of these uh, uh, officers of uh, civil defense I think about seven of them, and not just seven of them, there are also about five other uh, villagers, you know, vigilante uh, operatives that killed, they were killed. So about 12 of them were actually killed by these bandits. Um, you know, you see, the, the fight against banditry in the uh, Shani Kaduna State, uh, you know, is more of an up and down. Sometimes you see, um, you know, upscale of activities by the, the military guys, and of course, some other time you see some downscales where you where the uh, bandits uh, equally take a pound. Um, but generally, generally, I, I want to say that uh, the fight against uh, bandit and criminality have been very successful, you know, comparatively, you know, because uh, you discover that uh, you know, just like what is happening in the northeast, where the military been able to um, effectively, uh, you know, more or less decimate the uh, the terrorists. Now, but in Kaduna State, uh, we see what we have seen right now is the, uh, you know, more like attack on soft targets because you know the military guys, especially the, since the the posting of uh, the current GOC, General Abaja, you know, he has been able to lead special forces to take the war to them. They no longer have time for, you know, for public negotiation and all that. He takes the fight to them, and uh, you know, for those guys, in order to uh, to let the world know that they are still around. Would sometimes we take on on the, you know some of these uh, soft targets, picking on civil defense and uh, and, and vigilante groups. So um, the, the the good thing there is that the military guys are really up and uh, well determined to make sure that uh, they wrap up the fight. But we have to also understand the, the some other dynamics in this this fight. Um, the the areas they are concentrating now, the the Galbi area and the Bernanguari area. Uh, you know, they have this kind of topography, uh, you know, like rocky terrain, you know, something you can compare with Afghanistan, that provides the 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 the, the, the kind of perfect uh, environment, sanctuary for, for, for their operations. So it, it's quite difficult for even the security men to assess. But in spite of that particular challenge, the military guys are still able to smoke them out, uh, you know, then there's a right. the robust between the ground and the air troop and they've been able to take them up and then I think the, the we have to give you know kudos to the military guys right now in Cardinal State. All right Mr. Major let me so uh, find out from you what you think that are some of the factors that make the cycle of banditry a hard not to crack. First thing to understand is that banditry you know just like uh, you know um Terrorism in North East uh, is quite is a symmetrical warfare. You do not know exactly who these combatants are. They, they don't. They have no boundaries. They just spring up on you. So um, that is where this is where you know the the approach enunciated by or rather popularized by the current chief of defense uh, chief of defense staff 
where the all of society approach comes in because you know you are not able to identify exactly who the combatants are so it's difficult for you know even the military guys to pick out who they, who they are so this is where communities and people around should be part of the whole uh, process to be able to see something and say something uh, and again we there's a need for us to uh, actually uh, increase the boots on ground because uh, it, it does appear that the military uh, military guys are more or less overstretched you know they have a number of uh, theaters of operation across the country in the northeast, in the northwest, in the central, southeast. Mr. Uh, you know, Mr. Major, we are so almost out of time. Let me let me just ask you this last question. What, uh, we, you know, we have election at hand, and I want you to just say in a few minutes how we can mitigate the issue of insecurity, especially as it concerns this election. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind is the need for. Uh, everybody to, to be part of this process. You know, people must uh, be able to provide accurate information at the right time. And therefore, there's need for uh, government to deliberately increase the boots on ground. You need to recruit more people, recruit people to, and then deploy them to the areas where they come from, because they should be able to be, you know, be part of the community. And of course, uh, like I said before, there's a need for everybody to be part of the process. Then, of course, again, uh, there's a need for a robust synergy between and among the military, security, intelligence, and response agencies to work in coordination to All be right. able to, you know, um, you know, nip these things and then be on, on top of the situation. That's just what comes to mind. But more importantly, there has to be the, the willpower. There has mm. to be the political, uh, you know, uh, um, agency or from the part of government to be able to, you, right. know, uh, you know, carry out these initiatives and, and bring it to, to fruition. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Chidi Omeje, for your contribution this topic. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right. Let me find out from you just briefly what you think about this whole security in trying to have our election as a nation. How do we mitigate this whole thing? Well, it's become a major issue now. So much so that INEC aside to contemplate uh, the postponement of the election. Uh, well, the president has done so much. The government has done so much. They've, um, you know, invested in security. They've, you know, almost every year they've changed commanders. They've tried to motivate people. They have involved local people, local vigilantes, and everything. Well, uh, we will do more. Mm -hmm. uh, whether we like it or not, there are people who also provide cover for these people. Mm -hmm. Local people who also see provide cover for. They don't operate in isolation. So there should be more and. Again, there has to be punishment. The greatest, uh, 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 you know, uh, encouragement to crime is impunity. Impunity. Anyone who thinks I can get away with something will do it. There has to be repercussion for any act that inimical to the progress of this country. Right. Two, the government also needs to make sure that nobody profits from this. The only profit any military officer should earn from this one is promotion out of exploits on the field. Mm. It can't be financial. It can't be material. So what I'm saying, in essence, is that the corruption in the military itself should be faced headlong. Right. There's no reason why we this one should go this way.